channel. This is going to be my 2016 fall home tour and it is going to be pretty simplistic because we don't have as many decorations out this year as we did last year. Last year we were also hosting a Halloween party so we were a lot more decked out just getting ready for that and this year we're not going to be doing the same party so we decided just to keep it simple and keep it um, to just like the fall slash harvest decorations and so um, again it's just a lot more pared down this year. Um, probably more toward Halloween we'll put a couple extra things out you know because we do have trick-or-treaters and stuff that, you know come to the door so we might get a little bit more festive but we're not going to be doing what we did last year. So the only thing that's truly going to be missing in this video is our throw rugs and I regret that they are being laundered but usually we have rugs and runners through the hallway the foyer and the kitchen and of course it looks really plain without them but that being said, they will be back for my Christmas um, tour. I also wanted to let you know that I've decided to do a bit of a room tour. <laughs> um, that's going to be in a separate video, so if you're interested, just watch for that. Um, but I just, you know, I decorated upstairs too, and so I figured I might as well just throw that in the mix and show you how I did that. So getting into it, you're looking at our hallway slash foyer. Um, to the right, I have a gallery wall, as you can see. I'm not going to show the pictures because I I usually don't do that if I it's friends and family I don't want to I don't actually have their permission so I don't want to really put them in a video um, but I'm just going to walk you through and show you um, this is how you enter our house through the front door and over here we just have this area where this is a total catch-all this um, cubby unit is from Target and the baskets are also from Target so this is our bit of an entryway we just you know have a light up here and stuff um, and then I did decorate the top of this please don't judge that cubby because it's a catch-all for everything it needs cleaned out so desperately so I'm just gonna focus in like this and show you um, I have a 719 Walnut Avenue candle there from Walmart and I have my boxwood balls from Dollar Tree in a bowl and I have a welcome sign and a couple of pumpkins and garland from Walmart as well. The 719 Walmart <laughs> Walmart. The 719 Walnut Avenue candle is less than $5. They have all different scents and they are so worth it. So, this piece here is really old on the wall. It's um like a metal and kind of like a I don't know, plastic. I don't even know what you would call those, the flowers. Um what they're made out of. But anyway, I got that Pier 1 quite some time ago. So that's how you enter. And then I just have this wreath from Target that I got last year. And then here, this is our living room. So I'm just going to go through and give you a panoramic view, first of all. I'm not really going to focus in on this bookcase, except to show you we have some pumpkins here. But other than that, we just have a lot of family pictures on there, too. So it's really bright outside. I wanted to do this video yesterday, but it was way too sunny and nothing was focusing. So it's still a little bit bright. I do apologize for that. But... I'm gonna go ahead with it anyway, but first I'm gonna do a 360 and then I'll explain to you how I decorated. wasn't quite a 360 but I just wanted to give you a general overview of the room and then I figured I would explain from there. Our curtains are from Target and this Korean step chest was a gift from my brother when John and I got married and you can put it flat like we have it here or straight across or you can um, fashion it in a step style um, which is also really cool but we don't have a fireplace or a mantle in our home so this kind of serves as that and it's just nice to have like some kind of console under our TV. So um, up here we just have our TV hanging and um, I have to say I love my husband because he actually created a hole in the wall and he fished the cable wires and the um, electric wires through there um, cords or anything so that's really nice but we will probably never have anything here but a TV so here we have a pumpkin that I got at Pier 1. Um, this was several years ago. I want to say maybe three or four years ago. And we have an LED candle in here. So it takes the flame aspect out of it. Um, I just have it on 
a pillar candle holder and I just wanted to give it some height and some dimension. The garland here is all from Michaels. Um, it's a little bit nicer and more substantial than what I have everywhere else in the house. This little pumpkin is from Walmart and these candles, if you're familiar with my channel and have seen my home tours before, um, I got these at Kohl's years ago. I'm surprised they have any glitter on them left at all I'm, that they're not completely dried out. Um, they do shed and the candlestick holders are also from Kohl's as well. I leave these out all year round because I just like a little glitter and sparkle um, and I just, I don't know, I just like that. So anyway, over in this corner, this is kind of sad because it's not really that put together or cohesive, but um, just in case you're wondering, which you're probably not, these lamps are from Ashley Furniture and actually all our furniture is from Ashley except the pieces that I'll show you. Um, but this pumpkin is from Target. The jute placemat is from Walmart, and that is a candle I had left over from Bath and Body Works last year. And then I just have a wax or tart warmer back here. Um, here on the couch, I just have different pillows all the time. I switch these out constantly. It's difficult because the couch is so dark, you know, to have something that actually blends in and looks nice with it. I just switch out the throw pillows pretty frequently. So the two on the end with the kind of velveteen finish are from Target. These with the fluffiness are from Walmart and the center one is also from Walmart. The ones on the end are new this year and then the others are, I've had them for a while. And then here on our coffee table, we just have this little pumpkin and it just adds like a rustic touch. I really should have some kind of, I don't know, placemat or something underneath it just to give it a little bit extra dimension. But right now I just have it kind of sitting there and that's it. So we don't have carpet in here. We just have this rug here and then we have another one in the dining room. So again, another table from Ashley's and here, this flower arrangement I made last year. All these flowers that you see are from Dollar Tree and the little holder is from the dollar spot at Target. I made quite a few little arrangements. I gave them away, but it was pretty hardy looking and I kept it stored nicely. So I figured I'm just gonna use it again this year. This little candle here, I really don't burn it. I just like it for the looks. It's from TJ Maxx, another jute placemat from Walmart. They still they still sell these. I think they're like $2.97 a piece. They're really affordable. And then here I just have a little faux pumpkin with the tinsley finish also from Walmart. Those are less than a dollar. Over here in this corner, we just have our club chairs. I have a pillow from Target on each one of these and they just have a little sparkle on them, little beadwork, that's all. And then here, this little penguin, he just holds coasters and a drink of somebody sitting here on the chair. I purchased him from Bombay Company along with this piece here and this table here when I worked there when I was in college. So up here, I have a basket from Target, a pumpkin from Target, a beaded throw pillow is from Pier 1, back there another pillow from Walmart, and the throw blanket is also from Target, the garland is from Walmart. Over here I have these automatic sconces, they're on battery timers, and those were from QVC, and this metal piece here I believe was from Kirkland's. Up here too, we have another piece from Kirkland's. That picture over there is from Kirkland's. <laughs> we have a lot of Kirkland's, um, which, you know, we're gonna be switching out for a, a little bit of a lighter decor down the road because all these pieces are just really, really heavy. Here, this piece here was also from Kirkland's. It's just olive branches. So moving here on this end table, we have a little owl that's from the dollar spot at Target this year. Um, this little candle holder is from Walmart. It says thankful and blessings on it. And inside I have another seven, I, no, I have a Bath and Body Works candle from last Christmas in there. I have a little pumpkin from Walmart. Again, these were less than a dollar. Inside I have two more inside this bird cage. And then this candle holder is from Kirkland's and the vase is from Hobby Lobby. And the flowers are from Hobby Lobby as well. I have these flowers out all year round. Sometimes the color scheme doesn't really go, but there's certain flowers I just leave out regardless of season. So, so we're gonna go in this direction. This is our dining room. We only sit in here if we're having company over, like if we're hosting a holiday gathering. Flowers are looking a little wonky. Those are from Hobby Lobby. Shades of green, and I have those out all year round. 
And this picture, again, it's something I want to replace because the color scheme is just really, really heavy throughout this whole downstairs. In here, I just have this little vase. It's like a rattan vase from Walmart with eucalyptus in it. And we've had this eucalyptus forever, but it actually still has a scent to it when you get close. So it's really nice. And then here is just our china cabinet and that is the whole room. No fall decor. I'm just leaving it as is because we don't really hang out in here. So the curtains are from Target. So next I'm going to move into the kitchen and we can go this way or the opposite way. But the kitchen I decorated a little bit more heavily. First, I'm going to go over in this direction and I'm going to show you everything looks really sheer. You can see our neighbor's house and you can see the deck outside. But we have these slider blinds. These are from Ikea and I absolutely love them. There's, they're actually three separate pieces. Up here we just have a TV in the corner, a ceiling fan, and then here is our kitchen table. So again, our kitchen table is from Ashley's and it has a leaf in it, but we keep it small when it's just us here. And then up here, I always decorate these shelves for the holidays, regardless of if it's spring decor or Christmas or right now fall. These two little diamond pendant wall hangings, they're actually made out of wood. They're from TJ Maxx and the shelves are also from TJ Maxx. Any of you Dollar Tree and Target shoppers, you're probably gonna recognize a lot of these items. To the left, I have another little fox and pumpkin from the dollar spot at Target. The gold piece is from Hobby Lobby. The burlap pumpkin is from Target. The Grateful Hearts Gather Here sign is from the Dollar Spot at Target. The little orange pumpkin is from Dollar Tree. The gold fox is from TJ Maxx. And then the gold and white pumpkin is the Dollar Spot at Target last year. And the metallic gold pumpkin is from Dollar Tree. And then that piece, starting at the left, pumpkin is from Target Dollar Spot. The low sign is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Yes. And the little orange pumpkin is from Dollar Tree. The fall give thanks harvest sign is from Dollar Tree. The little metallic gold pumpkin is from Dollar Tree. And then the pumpkin stack, like styrofoam pumpkins, pumpkins from Dollar Tree. And I painted them and glued them together. So that is that. So pretty simple. Here on the kitchen table, I have a little fall arrangement that I did. All these flowers are from Dollar Tree. They are in a vase that I purchased at TJ Maxx. And here, this little studded pumpkin is one that I did a DIY for, and this is just thumbtacks from Dollar Tree and one of their foam pumpkins. So I just inserted the thumbtacks until it came out completely covered, and I absolutely love the way it looks. And then all the pumpkins are either from Dollar Tree or Walmart, and the tray is also from TJ Maxx. So that's what I'm using for a centerpiece in our kitchen. And I'll show you from this direction as well. And then going this way, this wreath here, my favorite purchase of this year, and it's velvet gray pumpkins. And I got this at TJ Maxx, and I love it so much. And then here I just have Dollar Tree pumpkin, no, Walmart pumpkin. And this is in like a little, I guess, like vase I got at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, and I just stuck some leaves in there. And then over here is just our sink and dog treats and things like that. And we need some outlet covers, as you can see. My husband just did this backsplash like not too long ago. So we just didn't replace those yet. That dog treat hold, this one is from TJ Maxx. And the second one behind it, the Buffalo plaid is from Target last year. And then our microwave has pumpkin from Walmart on it. Actually, all that decor is from Walmart except the little salt and pepper shaker. That's what I did with those. It's just really simple and nothing to it. They're just kind of leaning against each other. And then I have some tall grass, onion grass from Dollar Tree in a vase. And then I have a little warmer from Target and it has wax in it. And then of course, just our stove and it has a candle on it. And then some little towels that my best friend sent to me for my birthday. And I have a sign over here that I bought at Michael's. And then I wrote that with a chalkboard marker. So it's nice because I'll be able to change that out then for Christmas and write a different message. So I really like that. And I had this baking dish out and really, this doesn't necessarily go on there, but I just set it there and it gave it a little extra height. So that was okay with me. 
And then here I just have a little salt and pepper shaker to the left, another little little pumpkin pick from Walmart, and then a Dollar Tree pumpkin sitting next to that. And then over here, this is really sad, but there's nothing to it. We just have a random blender and a little pumpkin from Dollar Tree. So that is our kitchen. That's how we decorate it. I wanted to share it with you and just show you, you know, what I'm doing for this season. And I'm really excited for Thanksgiving. We have family coming into town, so it's going to be really nice. And perhaps I will add a few extra um, decor touches. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes as the season wears on. That is it. Thank you so much for sticking around. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, if you like this video, let me know. Um, comment, give it a thumbs up, or subscribe. That would be wonderful. So, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next thanks one. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. Really, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.